Right, welcome back. Last time, a plague has uh, pretty much ripped through the country. In fact, I believe it's still kind of ongoing. Though it is on its last legs. If it hasn't... Yeah, it looks like it's actually finished. Okay. So. Uh, I believe I can still check the plague death track. Yep. Almost 6 million people dead. Yeesh. So. Yeah, that was rough. It has had a rather bad impact on my treasury. <laughs> As, well, losing 10% of the population in my uh, most economically, well, well, for me, the most important provinces in my empire has had a very, very bad effect. Oh, another province. Excellent. Core and... I may end up picking Diplotech, the next level of Diplotech early. Because the points are starting to get to the peak rather soon. Less than 10 months, and then it's going to hit that. Of course, assuming... Well, there's two things. There's the tax system that's going to still impact it. And then, there's also the fact that I've noticed that the maximum limit seems to be slowly going down each year. The, the peak amount of power that can be stored. So, Yeah, that's something to keep an eye on. Trump 2579. Yeesh. I wasn't expecting it to be that quick. Alright, time to grab the next tech. Central banking. Yearly interest minus half a percent. Wow. So the gross plus Lee enables the clipper, which is the last transport ship. I don't exactly have plans of moving any ships or anything around. France will get um, some more debt in the war. So now's the perfect time to go ahead and upgrade these ships. I wasn't paying attention. Uh, let's just bring in this one. And grab the next Miltech. Mini balls! Infantry fire plus point one, cavalry fire plus point one, artillery fire plus one. Next tech will be the last unit upgrade with Armstrong guns. Well, before anything else happens. But I won't be able to do anything at the moment. Instead of maybe do some initial orders. You mush to here, you mush to here. I don't need to send my ships about. Oh, I got a new merchant. Okay. But that can be handled next time. So I had to grab deck a few times, specifically because limitations of how many points I can store. Um, I'm not gonna be able. I'm not gonna hit it next year. Maybe the year after that, though. Hopefully, I don't really want to grab admin tech early because I'd rather wait as long as possible. Because 
I'm eventually going to get an idea group from the Communist Manifesto. But that's tech level 56. And I'm also going to need those points for coring, etc. Hopefully the war won't last long. I get a bunch of territory. Though I probably won't try to grab everything. I mean, I could theoretically try to grab everything, although I don't have access to the peace screen at the moment. Because you need a diplomat in order to, a free diplomat to do that. Yeah. However, I finally discovered who owns Greenland. Specifically the one colonizable province in Greenland. Sweden. Amazing. <laughs> in other news, Trebizond now stretches to Syria. And almost to Kuwait. Yeesh. And for some reason, Ming does not consider me a rival. Though I was able to take France again as a rival. Still, once I manage to grab some more territory, I should be able to hit top rank. Of course, that involves taking all of the high dev provinces that Ferrandina owns, but there's not many. It's the econ type. There it is. Yeah. So these provinces are the only useful provinces. The rest are basically just empty territory. That I'll grab eventually, but I probably won't grab. <laughs> Not in this war. Some other time, perhaps. And maybe not before the game ends. Just approaching 1856. It's only 30 years away. There's, at the most, 7, 8 episodes left. Yeah. My balance is starting to improve again. Thankfully. Yeah, I, I'm definitely starting to tell. My economy my economy kind of needs the grain door in order to run properly. Because otherwise my property... Yeah, it costs more money in property maintenance than the grain door does. For some reason, subsidizing the ability for my commoners to buy all the food they need, or for the other materials, somehow makes me more money. I'm not entirely sure how this can be the case outside of, um, I guess trickle up economics. <laughs> Except it actually works. Honestly, it's probably a combination of price changes and actual um, trade money and whatnot. Somehow it just makes the economy run a heck of a lot better. Again, I'm not entirely certain how that actually works. Other than the fact that it does. I don't know why. It just does. I keep forgetting that Antilles is here. <laughs> I may conquer them at some point. But... Oh, okay, they are in the Caribbean trade now. They're not in a decent location. At the very least, conquering is going to be easy. Hmm. I'm starting to think my manpower taxation might. Okay, never mind. I was about to say maybe I should reduce my manpower taxation to reduce my economic issues, but no. It's it's basically my middle expense. It's the third highest, third smallest, at almost 400 ducats a year. Way more expenses is uh, that. Way more expensive is the bureaucrat which is at 4,000, which makes up almost two-thirds of my expenses, and second is property at 1,000, well, almost 1,800, which itself is about a quarter. Right? Yeah, a quarter is accurate enough. It's actually more than that, but... Eh. I'm also considering whether or not to adjust um, church authority because, well, it would reduce clergy gravity, and the clergy don't get much power from wealth anyway. Seriously, they have 16.57%. Reducing that by 15, at best, the plus 50, they'll get plus 
Okay, so plus 55, yeah, plus 50 percent clergy power from wealth. So end result. Um, because it's already 150 percent, assuming that there's no other differences. Nope. Okay. So it's at 150 percent already. Increasing by 50 percent means it increases by a third. Power after gravity is about 1.5 percent. So uh, a plus a third. Yeah, that's two percent. So I could literally make it so that the clergy are a non-entity. Insofar as most things are concerned. But that probably should wait for a better time. Like maybe in a couple years from now, in 1830, in order to minimize the problems this could provide? I don't know. It's all an aspect of timing and whatnot. And what really is the best option? Jeez, Indonesia's a mess. I guess everyone's sending expeditions to there. Oh, and I've managed to grab a few more provinces from England via the expedition system. It's rather silly and it's starting to look awful, but hopefully I can get more of these provinces and, uh, and end up eventually somehow getting all of Scotland. <laughs> I don't know why it's specifically targeting Scotland and nothing else. It just is. That's where it is. Anyway. I'll see you again next time. Until then. Bye.